Emma, it's so good to have you here with me on tonight's show because we have such a special treat for you. Yes, we are joined by the brilliant Joe Amira for a Halloween special. And here is what happened when I caught up with her. Joe Amira. Hello. Aren't we lucky tonight? <laughs> She's back. I'm back. It's I missed you. I missed, I missed you too. We've been really worried about Joe, haven't oh. we? We've been seeing these Instagram posts and we're like, hang on a minute, <laughs> our poor little Joe, what's going on? I know, my back decided it was time. Do you know, it was meant to be done though, 20 years ago. Oh. So I've had good, a good run, but no, the back had to be operated on, so. So you've actually had an operation? I've had the operation, I've had a disc out, another one shaved, and uh, yeah, so. You're an absolute trooper. I saw your Instagram post and we were all like, come on, Joe, you can do it. Aww. It must be like mentally really frustrating as well. Do you know what it really is? I've said before, it's like, I think if you actually feel poorly, you want to lay down and you want to be in bed. But when you feel fine and it's just the case of it being your back, it's very frustrating. I mean, I'm not back doing cartwheels just yet, but I will the be. The cartwheel splits will be coming. They will. At some point. Yes, they will be. So it's just kind of baby steps. Every baby day, steps, is it? yeah. Just just taking it easy as much as I can, and uh, it is what it is. You're a trooper though, because I know you're back singing and you're back, and yeah. and you're not down for long. And it's positive no. mental attitude that you have, which I think goes a long way. I think you've got to, you've got to keep positive, don't you? So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, as soon as I get back on stage, I was. Back on there. I was like, Joe, you're coming on the show. You have no choice. She's here. She's here. <laughs> we're here at the Theatre Cafe, which we're living for. I know. Um, isn't it lovely? It's just open here in the West End, and it's just so glitzy and glamorous. We love it. We do. Um, so we're going to be talking more to Joe, but first of all, we're going to go into Don't Stop Moving Unplugged. Oh, lovely. Should we do that? Yeah. Here we go. DJ got the party started, there's no end in sight Everybody's moving to the rhythm that's in sight It's a crazy world, but tonight's the right situation Don't get left behind I can feel the music moving through me everywhere Ain't no destination, baby We don't even care There's a place to be If you need the right education Let it take you Touch the moment, almost feel it in the air. Don't know where we're going, baby. We don't even care. Ain't no mystery. Just use your imagination. Let it take you there. Go with the magic, baby. I can see it. Thank you. 
Now this is exciting. We have a new song. I remember when I spoke to you before, I was like, Joe, tell me what the new song is. She's like, no, I can't reveal it. I tried for us. But now we know. The secret's the out. The secret's out. Tell it us is. everything. We want to know everything. So Thriller's turned 40 this year. And, Has it? Um, yeah. 40? I know. I feel old. So do I. But uh, yeah, decided to release this as a charity single for the wonderful Great Ormond Street Hospital. Oh, yeah, it's so much fun. So much fun filming the video. So, where did you film the video? We filmed the video at Metropolis Studios. Right. Which is one of my favourite studios um, to record in anyway. Um, and yeah, just loads of different people all jumped on the track. Okay, we're going to name drop. Who the was in the video? Drop, um, Anne Hegarty. I love her. And the Chase. Vincent Price. The Chase man. Yes, Bethany Hare. Amazing. She's so beautiful, inside oh. and out. A lovely girl. We got, we laughed a lot. <laughs> we were the naughty ones. And then we've no. got Verona Rose. We have got Tiger Drew Honey. Oh, from yeah. Yeah. Yes, I know who that is. Ivan yeah. Kay, an acclaimed actor. So a real mixed bag. Faye Barker. Oh, amazing. So, so it's just so, nice yeah. to have you all on set and just have a laugh. But... Yeah. But I mean, we'd all just literally met for like the very first time. You know, when you meet people, you're like, hello, it's lovely to meet you. And you all, and then the next minute you're going, <laughs> like acting like zombies oh and things. God, brilliant. Like, oh. Have you got a making of so, the video or not? There is. There yeah, is a making there is. of. You can yeah, go and check that out that. over on um, YouTube. It's on. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. The song's out now. It is out right now. How can we download it, stream oh. it, like everywhere? You can watch the video on YouTube. You can head to my website. You can go to iTunes, to Spotify, to Amazon. It's available all over the place. So. Right. It's, it's important because I think every time someone streams it or downloads it, it's going to help for a fantastic cause. It. And you're a big Michael Jackson fan anyway, aren't you? Yeah. Me too. Always been. Always, always. Yeah. So this is absolutely brilliant. Um, everybody get behind this because it's going to such a good cause. Um, we're going to watch the video and see who we can spot see in the video. See who can spot. All yes. right, everyone keep your eyes peeled. Here we go. Ooh. Oh,
The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood to terrorize your neighborhood. And whomsoever shall be found without the soul for getting down. to your version of Whitney, Greatest Love of All. Now, I saw you perform this and mm. I, I found it quite emotional. Is oh. it for you when you sing it? Yeah, I think it's because, and I think especially where I can do my own shows now, I like mm. to bring a, like, a little bit of my past in, a bit of the present, and obviously what's coming up in the future. And The Greatest Love of All is definitely my past because I used to sing that as a kid and do talent shows and karaoke nights and open mic nights that was one of my always go-to songs wow it's yeah. a tough song to sing it's not that um, i would know but. yeah it can it can be a tough song to sing if you're not in you've got to be like in good voice to, right. to sing I it i won't attempt but, it anytime soon then. but it was lovely to sort of like go back to to being maybe 14 or 15 and singing uh, it and then do it all over again to again. a new audience and yeah. i think a lot of people love that song because when we were sat there everyone kind of sat down and then by the end everyone was just stood up going like yes i know you know and it I must know. be such a nice feeling really for you. lovely yeah and i did you know what i didn't expect it from that song but i think when everyone stood up and started clapping i was a little bit overwhelmed yeah. myself i was a bit like oh but that's what's so nice about those intimate gigs isn't it yeah. because you all kind of feel like you're part well, of it. Yeah, we're all in it together. So it's it's really intimate and really lovely. And I, I think I've got to say, you favorites. do have the nicest fans. Like when They're I come amazing. to your gigs, it's like a little family, isn't it? Yeah. Just like, oh, no, no. It's I know. Like, it's just a really good it's vibe It's like the little Joe Amara community of it fans. Is. Yeah, I'm very, very, very lucky. Uh, yeah, so yeah. very lucky. Uh, and enjoy. <laughs>
Uh, now, Joe, we have got an exclusive mm. for our viewers. Um, Joe is going to be singing live here at the Theatre Cafe. Um, really? I didn't really ask. I told her. I was like, you, I we just need got this told show. this is what you're doing. I was like, okay. She thought she was coming here for a nice meal. Let's and actually, do it. So, um, would that be all right? Of course. And what's it like when you like sing live? Like, how do you control those nerves? Because I know that you get I do. Like, a little bit. Like quiet I've got a little bit of a nervous like, hand again now. I, I promise you, if you I do. If you a voice like this, would you get nervous? I always get nervous. It's good to have nerves. It means you care. Yeah, I do care. But you make me laugh because you do go like a little bit quiet beforehand. You're like, I just need to think about this. I know. <laughs> what do we need it's to do? It's the only about? time I am quiet. It's true, so actually. So people, you know, maybe you should enjoy it. Think, oh, a little bit of peace. That's like me, actually. The only time I'm quiet is when I'm travel sick in a car. Oh, OK. Everyone's like, Hayley, are you OK? <laughs> I'm like, no. See, so travel sick, travel nurse, sick. nerves. Oh, yeah, see what you mean. All Go very quiet. similar. But you've learned to deal with your nerves, like, over the years. Oh, I mean, yeah. obviously, like, because obviously you come from a band, like, seven yeah. of you, to going solo. Yeah. That must have been a tricky time. It was going weird. Going from one to the other. Really weird. And I did sort of, like, look around quite a lot for the rest. But oh. they, but they wasn't there. But, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm loving it, though. I'm loving being solo because I'm getting to play with all different sounds and genres and... And I sing what I like. Exactly. So it's amazing. I'm I guess at it. first, when you came out the band, it must have been like, oh, where do I place myself? But you now do. I feel like you found your niche. Yes. I feel like I know who I am as, as a solo artist now, and, uh, and it feels pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Wow. We are excited <laughs> for this. Um, check this out. You're going to love it. It's close to midnight, something evil's lurking in the dark. Under the moonlight, you see a sight that almost stops your heart. You try to scream, but terror takes the sound before you make it. You start to freeze, and horror looks you right between the eyes. 
The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood to terrorize your neighborhood. And whomsoever shall be found without the soul for getting down. Now, I want to talk about a charity that's very dear to your heart, Canine Angels. I know. Uh, which I know that you're part of now. Yes. Um, big shout out to Victoria, by the way. Oh, She's Victoria amazing, and Polly, yeah, the girls, amazing. Yeah. And what I love about you is that you love dogs so much. I do. Because I love dogs so much, like more yeah. than people, sorry, but it's true. Me too. Um, <laughs> I love animals. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and I just think it's brilliant what you're doing because there needs to be more awareness. Well, do you know what it is? I think that, you know, there's so many dogs out there that are just crying out for a home. So I always, you know, say adopt, don't shop, because the love that they give you back in return is like a different kind of a love. It's, That's it's what I like mean. they yeah. know. It's yeah. honestly like they know that you've saved your every them. emotion. Yeah, so they love you even more. And then I think to watch them, especially with like our little Wilma that we've got at home. She you've was, got two rescue dogs. Yeah, well, one's well, more of a rehome, right. but the other one is is like a pure um, a pure rescue, and she I'm came to, to us. At home. So I'm, I've lost the plot when it comes to animals. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she was in a terrible little pickle when she come. But then watching her grow and her fur Aww. grow and her nose get cold and wet, it's been very rewarding. Yeah, very rewarding. And tell us what you did. Oh, um, Hayley. Because. I was like, hang on a minute, a walk. I, I, I didn't quite get what you were doing. It was horrendous. And then when I saw it on social media, I'm like, I've no idea how you did that. Nor do I. I can't even go on a ride at like Thought Park. Nor do I. This is really? the thing. No, I've always been the bag holder. Yeah, that weighs I took the, cam takes the, like, photos. Took the photos. Yeah, yeah. me too. No, I've done, the, uh, I've done a wing walk. It so was... for those that don't know what this is, just... You strap well. You'd stand on the top of a plane, right. and then they strap you in. But I mean, by not very much. It's like literally across there. That's it. And then you. Take off Look at, my face. at 160 my face. miles an hour. So, what was going through your mind? Like, why? You... <laughs> Mainly, why did I say yeah? But I did it. I was so dogs. proud of myself when I got yeah, off, but I did it actually. It must have been a good feeling. It was amazing. Did you have like motion off. sickness? afterwards no no you were okay no i didn't actually at all which i thought i would yeah, i did because before. if i go on a ride at thought park yeah the next no night i'm like i think i was in too much shock <laughs> to baby. feel to feel anything to be honest. but i done it but you did it did it for you the doggies a lot of money yeah and we're proud it's of you for that oh thank you we love that well, we're going to go into on the surface now the reason i love this song is because i think it resonates so well with people because a lot of us are like, yeah, we're great, we're amazing. Yeah. And, and you have to, because you have to get on with life. But Absolutely. It's become more aware now about mental health that actually, you know, we need to talk a little bit more. Yeah. And I think this song, I was listening to the lyrics actually on the way here and I thought it really does sit well because I think Aww. a lot of us are trying to like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, no, I'm not okay. I need to talk. And Absolutely. we want to encourage people to talk more. And that's what the song's it's about, isn't it? so important. Yeah, I think, you know, for many years I didn't talk. But I've learned to sort of like open up and talk a lot more now. And I think that if everybody can do the same kind of thing, it just it just helps, you know. Yeah, and there's no shame in saying that you're not okay. Exactly, exactly. So well, we love to so talk. So talk. Talk, yes. Enjoy. <laughs> On the surface, I'm all right. On the outside, I know I'll never have to fight it. I just hide it mm -hmm. On 
the surface, I'm okay. I was broken, but found a way to stop the bleeding. Now I'm healing. When it all hurt and nothing was easy, where were you back then? I was so. So we don't want you to go. I know your back's probably hurt. I know. Do you know what? If, well. if people are thinking, like, why is she sitting like this? There is a reason for. No, no, no. Because I feel like a bit like I should like sit up a bit taller. Yes. So, um, yes. That's chest me. out. Okay. Belly in. Okay. <laughs> Not good enough for maximum. It's exhausting. Last night. Um, but Joe, yes. I've seen that you're on Insta Lives. Is it like Thursday <laughs> nights? I did do an Insta Live yeah, on Thursday. Yeah, I did one on Thursday. I know. Everyone says, oh, can you? Because I used to do in lockdown, I used to do Saturday Night Live. So I might, I'll have to start doing them more. But I get quite shy doing them. Stop it. No, because I'm talking to a phone. Yes, it's a different it's technique. It's a different technique. It? Yeah, I've not quite mastered it yet. And then, because I like, can't really see very well without my glasses, <laughs> I'm trying to like, read and then I'm doing this. So, was, no. I think it's nice because obviously it was like a lockdown thing. But actually, I think where it's the winter nights now, it's yeah. probably quite a nice thing because we're sitting in. We'll sit in. I'll, I'll definitely do more lives. Yeah, yes. do more lives. I will. Um, gig wise, what have we got moving oh, forward? All sorts of things going forward. There's a lot of exciting things I can't talk about. Again, I'll get it out of her. I will. Or she had to have to come back again at Christmas. <laughs> Maybe. Again. Yeah. Winter Possibly. Wonderland special. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and we want to remind everyone. In fact, we're going to tell you right now. You need to download Thriller. Yes. Please, it's going to such an amazing... All for, all for a good cause. Oh, yeah. Stream it, download it. Like We're going to put details on the screen um, of how you can do that. Um, but we also want to thank the Theatre Cafe because for this having is a us, venue, isn't it? It is amazing. We it is it. unreal. And Legally Blonde is over there. Legally so we're allowed blonde. to be here, Hayley. Yeah, legally. Love legally it. allowed to be here. Well, Mira, you know we love you here on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, we are supporting your new single all the way. Uh, it's the one and only Joe Amira, everyone. Thank you. Oh, huge. Thank you, Joe Amira. What a show. What a treat it has been on tonight's show. And thank you to you at home uh, for supporting the show. It really is much appreciated. Now, I will see you same time, same place next week. Stay safe. I'm Hayley Palmer, and I will see you then.
Could I ever say no? Oh my. 